Jade, this is Quain. Do you copy? Jade, can you hear me? Troy, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, I was just about to contact you. Savvy broke through the jamming and... I think you better get back. You have to see. Why? What do I, what do I have to see? You have to see it, Quain. Get back to the
went wrong. I don't mean this plague, that must be God. But what went wrong with Haran? When they found the oil, they said it would make us all rich. Everybody. They said there would be jobs, but the good jobs went to people who weren't even from Haran. They built big towers with air conditioning, but I don't know anyone who works in them. For us, they built a slum. That was our reward. That was the gift of oil. Now the water is not clean, and the air smells like a truck. It was not fancy before, but it was not so ugly like it is now. And then this plague came. Last month, I saw a man. A rich man. He was being attacked by a peasant woman. I knew her. Her name was Denise. Only, she was no longer a person. And this thing that used to be Denise bit into that rich man's face like it was a watermelon. And I was glad. I'm ashamed of how glad I was. Yeah! 
now you're just making me... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 
Are you the one who rescued that little boy? How's he doing? He's on his way back to the tower. Brecken sent a messenger through. He had to go back anyway, so he just took Sammy with him. He'll be with his mum by tomorrow. Thanks. That's, that's good to know. Maybe I'll see him back at the tower. If you're looking for food, you've got to wait and get your rations like everyone else. Well, that's not why I'm here. I'm Crane. I'm a runner. Anything I should be looking for out there? We're pretty much out of everything. Food, water, medicine. You wouldn't expect Old Town to be poorer than the slums, but it is. Got to admit, it makes me wonder about those rumors of a big supply cache hidden somewhere in the city. Too bad the one person who'd know if it's true is Tabith Erdl. You can't get anything out of him. Where do I find him? Across town. He's not dangerous. He's 
just difficult. He is the former town clerk, and he can be extremely uh, bureaucratic about things. Try not to kill him. But if you have to kill him, I'll totally understand. <sighs>
Switched all three valves. Brilliant. Now, you just have to do the same in the main pumping station. Give me a shout once you're there. Did you hear that loud music? Someone turned it up on purpose. I wonder why. That guy must have a death wish. <laughs> Progress? Yes, yes. We've got water again, not just in our building, but in my whole district, too. You did my job and you did it well. Even the fountain works again. Amazing, Crane. Good. That's yeah, better to drink water than energy drinks.
Yes, what is it? Are you Mr. Thabit Erdl, the town clerk? That was my title. However, all city authority has been dissolved by the GRE and the federal government. My title does not exist anymore. And therefore, I am no longer required or allowed to provide any services to you or anyone else. In conclusion, goodbye. Not so fast, Mr. Erdl. The dissolution order requires all local officials to be at the service of the GRE and the provisional authority as needed. Are you with the GRE? I'm looking for information about a large supply cache hidden somewhere in the city. Ah, you mean the bunker. Well, if you wish to take possession of it, you'll have to lodge a 201 needs of agency form, JP-401 details of operation form, also a 606 compulsion of special authority form, oh, and a 302B declaration of emergency functions form. That last one has a three-day turnaround in the best of circumstances. Which these are certainly not. I need it now. Well, then I suggest you employ the traditional method of accelerating the government process. Which is what? Bribery, of course. I need the official seal of the mayor embossing stamp. The mayor was last seen at the hotel. Find his room, and you should find the seal.
Crane. I was looking for Rupert. No, you weren't. You were looking for a gunsmith who happens to be named Rupert. Eh, fair enough. I'd like to talk about some weapon modifications. You work for Rise? No. Hmm. Well, I suppose that helps. But I'm waiting for my wife Jasmine to come back. Until she's here, I can't leave. Has she been gone long? No, not long. So it'll probably be a while before she returns. And what about these kids? Are their parents... Dead, I hope. Every day, I'm terrified that one of them is going to look out the window and see their mother or father shambling down the street. I don't know what I'm going to do when that happens. What have you told them? Half-truths. That a dark magic has taken over the city, but that I am a good wizard who can protect them. It's the sort of game that doesn't end. Jasmine is better at this sort of thing. Hell, I'm a gunsmith. What am I doing playing this magical nonsense? Seems to me you're doing pretty well. Well, I'm not. There's a girl named Isla. She's a diabetic. Only her insulin ran out a while ago. Now her blood sugar is sky high. She's dehydrated and exhausted. Jasmine says if she doesn't get some insulin soon, she'll slip into a coma and die. And here I am in this stupid wizard hat, and the kids are waiting for me to cure her with a magic potion. Maybe it's time to tell them the truth. There is no good magic, only the dark kind. Take it easy, Rupert. There's a drugstore in town. Maybe I can find some insulin there. Are you serious? Mister, if you could do that, I can't tell you how grateful I'd be. I've got a radio here. If my wife Jasmine comes back, I'll probably go home for a while. But I'll let you know before I leave. If you pass the fan zone, please, check what's happening there. What do you mean? You'll hear it for yourself. Someone's calling for help. There are women and children there. No matter how many times I watch it, I still can't believe it. An internal global relief effort document surfaced today that, if verified, implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Worldwide backlash has... No, no, skip to the important bit. I was the last survivor left to the quarantine. I can't believe I made it out. I can't believe I'm still alive. We mourn all those who didn't survive. But as the president said in the speech here earlier today, life is for the living. Military troops have searched for survivors all over the quarantine, but now there's no one left besides the infected. According to Colonel Tanner, once his decontamination process is finished, the infection will be completely obliterated. Ministry did this. They're making their excuses to the rest of the world for destroying a city. Look, Crane, before you go charging out of here, we already had an idea of how to send a message. We were going to plant explosives in a building and set off fires in a pattern, something the zombies could never do. Trouble is, we got the runner, Michael, over to the right building, but he can't get through to the top floors. Too many biters. As much as I hate to admit it, none of the rest of us are strong enough to do this job. Well, we've got to do something right fucking now, or you, me, Jade, and everybody else are going to get blown to bits. I tell Michael I'm on my way, and while I'm doing that, can you get in touch with Jade? Try to get her to meet me. You have my word. <laughs> 